welcome everyone to Christ Church Santa Fe Chil San Christ Church Santa Fe Children and Youth Ministries production of Last Flight Before Christmas, an original play by Beth Felty. Brought to you. <laughs> it's brought to you by Zia Root Beer and AAA Airport Shuttle. <laughs> the play is in two acts. The first act has been filmed and you'll see it on screen. The second act will be presented live on stage, followed by video conclusion and commercials. A few housekeeping details. There's no intermission between the acts. Please turn your cell phones on silent or turn them off. And now sit back and enjoy the show. His personality is so magnetic, he's unable to carry credit cards. His organ donor card also lists his beard. He is the most interesting hombre in the world. We don't worry about Barks versus a and W. We're our own thing completely. Zia, root beer. Stay true, my friends. New Mexico true. He is the most interesting hombre in the world. Hello, my friends. I've heard some rumors on the calle that some of you guys have some no bueno plans for your Christmas food. It's come to my attention, unfortunately, that there's a handful of you out there that are thinking about non Nuevo Mexicano food items this Navidad. Some of you are talking about gravy, where we talk about red chili. Some of you are referring to going to Whole Foods and getting a vegan feast in New Mexico. That's a capital crime. But let me give you a few suggestions. Chili con queso for dinner. Replace whatever dessert grandma's been making for years and years with a sopapilla with honey. Sometimes among our own people here in Nuevo Mexico, we argue about what's better, the red chili up north, the green chili down south. Do you like the New Mexican food up in Santa Fe and beyond, Taos? Or are you more of a Las Cruces person? It's true, we have our internal squabbles. But whenever we're attacked from the outside, we always stick together. Yes, we know New Mexico's ghetto. No, you can't say that if you're not from here. Yes, we know this place is crazy and ridiculous, but it's our crazy and ridiculous. So stay true, my friends. New Mexico true. Have you spent hours getting ready to go out and you looked perfect? And then step out into a New Mexico windy storm and have your eyelashes fly away? From Epoxy Glue, a special New Mexico edition of Eyelash Cement. That's right, Eyelash Cement. Waterproof, cryproof, rainproof, and New Mexico windproof. Your eyelashes will hold up in any storm. Removal may require surgery. Glue must be applied by a professional license by All Sick Bureau in Manana County. All Sick is not responsible for anyone flying off in the wind with their eyelashes attached. <laughs> yeah. Grace, seriously, aren't you going to help us? <laughs> Grace, you know you're hangry. You're just like a wolf. Have a taco. Oh, you need Nubasco Hatch Hot Sauce. Ah, yes. Much better. Nubasco Hatch Hot Sauce. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on. Nubasco Hatch Hot Sauce. It's all hot. Lost luggage? We can help. 505 Lost Luggage Recovery Service to the rescue. 
is this 505 Lost Luggage Recovery Service? Yes. I was uh, told that you guys had my luggage that I left. Yes, we just found it in our truck. Yeah, I'm still at the airport. Five, ten minutes. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. I'll see you in a little bit. Ah, darn it, we're going to have to call the mechanic. Uh, this pedometer doesn't even work. But I'm a shop. Is this your luggage? Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. What happened to it? It must have been the airline. You lose it, we find it. Call 505 Manana. That's Cinco Cero Cinco Manana. I'm so ready for school to be over for the semester. I hope I pass all my midterm exams. Well, it helps if you actually study for your exams. I have been studying. I think you've been studying the Santa Fe Ski Slope Trails more than our textbooks. <laughs> I can't wait for the Santa Fe Ski Trip. I'm excited, but it's so close to Christmas, we promised our parents that we'd be home on Christmas Eve. Don't worry, my aunt and uncle got it covered. It's their Christmas gift to me. You're so lucky to have such a cool aunt and uncle, and we're so lucky to be your besties. I just hope we get home. I just hope we get back to Denver on Christmas Eve. My parents will kill me if we don't get home. Hey dad, you guys there already? Can you hear me? Okay, everybody in the line, Sarah, Michael. Hey guys, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that uh, you guys had a safe trip. Um, already at Grandma's Grandpa's, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine, I'll be okay. Uh, I'll be making the short flight to, to Santa Fe and then back to Denver. Easy peasy, yep. Um, I'll miss being with you on Christmas. Mm hmm Well, enjoy your time. Um, you guys are going to have a blast with Grandma Ron. You always do. Yep. <laughs> yes, I miss your mom. Yeah, we all do. Hey, tell you what. Um, I have some time off uh, when you guys get back to Denver and before school starts. So uh, we can definitely have um, a later Christmas and have fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Love you too. Okay, I'll call you on Christmas morning, okay? Bye. Father, uh, thank you for the gift of my children, uh, and thank you for their grandparents too, uh, who give so much of themselves to, to help in their care. Uh, I know that you have a plan for my life moving forward, and I'm thankful for that, and, and I pray that you might bring someone uh, to share my life with my children. Uh, thank you for your blessings, and, and please provide a safe flight on Christmas Eve, and and help me to show your love to, to those people who cross my path every day. Uh, um, thank you for your son and amen.
Bye. Thank you. Hey, Kelsey, make it quick. I'm on my way to the airport. Why are you going to the airport? I told you I was going to take the flight to Santa Fe for my friend. She wanted to be with her daughter on Christmas Eve. Oh, her daughter. And you, you can just say no to your family? Listen, I told you, Christmas is a non-event for me. I would rather be making some money. Oh, yeah, so money and your career is all that you talk about. That's all you're about. You don't even want to go to church on Christmas Eve. No, I'm not interested in going to church on Christmas Eve. Look, sis, I'm not into the church thing like you. I don't have my own family, and the other flight attendant should be with her family. See, I'm being a good person, taking the flight. Let's try to celebrate New Year's Eve. That's more my idea of fun. I have to go. I'm getting close to the airport. Bye. Hello, David and Sarah, this is Jane. I'm calling with good news. I just received notification that all of the court documents have been completed in Colorado for the adoption. <laughs> I'll fly to Denver to get your son and then back to Santa Fe on Christmas Eve. Yeah. If it's okay with you, I'd like to bring your son to you on Christmas Eve. I'm so happy for both of you. It's no problem for me to travel so close to Christmas. Now, you better get your son's nursery ready. I sent you the information for the correct infant formula, and I set up an appointment with your pediatrician right after Christmas. I'll call you when I arrive in Santa Fe on Christmas Eve. Okay, yeah, bye. What a beautiful baby boy. David and Sarah are so happy. It's their little Christmas miracle. I wish I could find someone special in my life. I thought for sure I'd be married by now, maybe expecting my own little miracle. I just need to be patient though and trust that God has a plan for me, a plan probably better than I could ever imagine. Thank you God for your hand in this adoption process. Thank you for allowing me to help parents realize their dream of creating a family. I know that you have a plan for my life because you know my desire is to be in a loving relationship with a good Christian guy and to have our own family. So I trust you with that. I pray also that you would provide safe travels for me and this newborn baby boy. What do I need to make a Christmas feast for St. Elizabeth Shelter? These men need a New Mexican Christmas dinner. Enchiladas, tamales, rice, beans, tortillas, definitely biscochitos for a sweet treat. I hope this new airport manager, George, will allow me to prepare the meal when I am working here on Christmas Eve. He seems like an easygoing man, but he is such a gringo. I don't think he knows anything about New Mexico. I wonder if he's a Christian. It would be a nice change to have a boss who loves God. Lord, please give George a heart that loves you and may he be open to me preparing the meal for St. Elizabeth's shelter here on Christmas Eve. <laughs> yes, we are so excited to spend Christmas with the two of you, and soon there would be three of you. <laughs> what a blessing God is giving you two to be parents, and for us to be grandparents. See you on Christmas Eve. Good night. Bye. Bye. Love. Oh, I am so excited for Christmas. And now a grandchild. Our prayers are truly answered. Do you know, I've been thinking about the first Christmas. Mary and Joseph traveling 
to Bethlehem, waiting for their baby to be born. A baby named Jesus. And people waiting for a Messiah. Well, yes, God always has a plan for his people. We just need to wait and be ready. And while we're waiting, <laughs> you have been needing, needing more than, ba than prayer shawls for church. <laughs> how, many, how many blankets do you think our grandchild really needs? Well, you know, I just felt that God was urging me to knit more than one baby blanket. Maybe there's another little one who could use a blanket that was knit with love and, and prayers. You know, I heard that they're really predicting snow <laughs> for Christmas Eve. I hope our flight doesn't get canceled. Well, remember, let's remember. Trust in the Lord and He will provide. That's true. I just pray that God doesn't provide too much snow. So, so true. Oh, querido, I picked up your jacket from the cleaners there. Don't forget. Oh, thank you. You're a sweetheart. Well, there it is. My new place of employment general manager of the Santa Fe airport. I need to be honest with myself, it was time for a change. I just really wasn't going anywhere at the small airport in Maine. Just no possibility for me to advance beyond assistant manager. Just a dead end job. But seriously, who answers a Craigslist ad for a position across the country as general manager of a tiny airport in New Mexico? You know, my friend thought Santa Fe might be a good place for a fresh start, and I agree with him. It's a... But his words were, reinvent myself. So, if Santa Fe is this city different, does it mean that it opens up your life for new possibilities? But what a change. It's just so different here. It's not green like Maine. It's just shades of brown on brown. So dry, just no moisture in sight. I highly doubt this prediction for snow is accurate. Okay, Lord, I'm here. Help me to be my best at the airport. I'm trusting that you will direct my path. Help me be someone who you will use in this city different. I pray that this will be a place where I can make a home, establish my career, and be a part of a Christian community. And maybe, if it is your will, a Christmas miracle to find someone to share my life. He's won trophies for his game phase alone. He can fish with his bare hands, but they need a chance, so he fly fishes. Without the fly, he is the most interesting hombre in the world. I don't always drink root beer, but when I do, I prefer Sia. Stay true, my friends. New Mexico true. No. Stay true, my friends. New Mexico true. When you live with moderate to severe loafing syndrome, your day can be full of reminders of your condition, never knowing, always wondering what it's like to live without being late. You weren't made for being on time, but Procrastinex is here for you. Procrastinex works at the site of the problem to remove the guilt associated with your loafing syndrome. Confusion or serious family quarrels may occur after taking this medication. Other side effects may include piles of dirty laundry, lower grades in school, and nothing left to eat for dinner. Although unlikely, a rare and serious condition called outright dilly-dallying may occur. 
Tell your doctor if you experience hungry kids, loss of employment, or failure to finish school as your doctor may need to adjust your dosage. Do not drink coffee within 24 hours of taking Procrastinex as the caffeine will lower the effectiveness. Procrastinex, when taken correctly, removes the guilt associated with loafing syndrome and frees you to enjoy your life. Ask your doctor about Procrastinex. In clinical trials, most patients experience freedom from guilt for neglected daily tasks and simple goal setting. Take Procrastinex tomorrow or whenever. <laughs>find out what it is in life you don't do well and then don't do that thing stay true my friends new mexico true nubasco hatch hot sauce it's all hot flight to Denver. There's no way you'll be able to sell all this tonight. This food is for the men at St. Elizabeth's Shelter. Remember you said that I could cook the food here on Christmas, while the cafe was open on Christmas Eve? Yes, I totally forgot. It smells very good. Could you tell me again what you made? I don't really know my New Mexican food very well. I made tamales, enchiladas, rice, beans, and bisco cheetos. Sounds like a whole lot of work to prepare it all. How do you manage that expense? I use my Christmas bonus to buy the food. It's my way of showing God's love to others. It gives me great joy. Well, you have a good heart. Could you tell me more about those cookies? Oh, those are Bisco Cheetos. They're for the passenger. The Bisco Cheetos are for the passengers here at the airport. It's kind of like cinnamon and something else. Yeah, they have cinnamon and anise seed. Those biscotti toes sound like they're really good. Would you like to check your bags? Right to Denver. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. What a great ski trip. Yeah, it was my first ski trip outside of Colorado, and not with my family. Yeah, it was a great trip, and now back to Denver. Looks like the snow is really starting to come down. I hope our flight isn't canceled. Don't say that. I need to get home. I promised my parents that I would be home for Christmas. Don't worry. If our flight is canceled, you can always spend one more night with my aunt and uncle. No, I need to be home for Christmas. Relax. My parents aren't even home. They're on their own vacation in Hawaii. Yeah, and you're going to be with my family for Christmas. See, there is always a plan for us. Oh, how I just love this airport. It's, it's just the essence of Santa Fe, isn't it? Well, that's one way of describing it. 
Maybe we should have flown out of Albuquerque on a bigger plane. The snow has really picked up. I don't think that flying in a small plane in this weather is a good idea. Oh, I think it will be just fine. And, and remember, we need to trust in the Lord. I do trust the Lord. It's the small plane and the snow that worries me. <laughs> hey, I thought that you were going to pack those blankets in your suitcase. Our grandchild, our new grandchild, is not going to greet us at the Denver airport. <laughs> I know, I know. I just wanted to have them with me on the flight, and I just felt that these baby blankets needed to be close at hand. You always have those funny feelings. <laughs> and I've learned to trust those funny feelings. They, they seldom steer me wrong. so much snow. Denver was almost clear when we left. Snowstorms just seem to come up from nowhere. You never know what you'll experience in Santa Fe. Well, you did a great job landing the plane. Thanks. Was this your first flight to Santa Fe? I don't think I've met you before. I took the flight for my friend. She wanted to be with her daughter on Christmas Eve. That was really kind of you. What about your Christmas plans? Oh, Christmas isn't really a thing for me. My sister and her family do the whole Christmas routine with a tree and church and presents. It's different when you're a flight attendant with flight schedules and no family of your own. Yes, it's true that working in the airline industry can make holidays and family time difficult. But Christmas is more than being with family. As a Christian, Christmas is a time to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, if you don't mind my asking, what is your religious experience? Oh, kind of the typical story. I grew up in a Christian home. I attended church and Sunday school with my parents and my sister. I accepted Jesus as my savior in my teenage years and was part of a youth mission group. That sounds pretty great. So what happened? <laughs> I think what happens to a lot of young people, I went to college and got away from God. When I was at home on school breaks with my parents, I attended church. There was just no real place at school to connect with Christian community. After college, I got a job with the airlines, and my whole life became about my work. And now? Now, both my parents are gone. It's just my sister and her family. They have their own life with their church and friends. There isn't a place for me. I know it's difficult, but God always has a place for you. And you just have to be open to letting God show you a path. What about you? No family plans? I lost my wife a few years ago. I have a son and a daughter. Great kids. They're with their grandparents for Christmas. You see, it's important for my parents to be with their grandchildren for Christmas. I have time off around the new year to celebrate with them. The holidays must be difficult for you. 
I have some tough moments, I have to say. Um, but I also have a lot of support from family and my extended family of pilot, pilots, co-pilots, and airline crew. Hello, and welcome to Santa Fe. Happy holidays. Uh, the, it looks like we're a flight on the return flight to Denver. Denver is clear for landing, but the snow here in Santa Fe is going to require the runway to be cleared and to de the claim. Uh, we're really going to need the snow to slow down before we can take off. Well, safety first. Notify the airport manager of the delay and stay with the airport crew. Hopefully, the snow will slow down and we can take off tonight. Looks like this is a Christmas Eve we won't forget. There is a slight delay. Could you update the board, please? Yes. Well, folks, it looks like we're in, a bit, in for a bit of a delay. We feel confident that your flight will be able to take off tonight once the snow slows down. Maybe we should go home and reschedule our flight for tomorrow. I really wouldn't do that. You're much better off staying here at the airport. The state police told me that the main roads are closed due to all of the snow. And we will be able to take your flight to take off tonight once the snow slows down. If the snow slows down. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be delayed for a little while just until the roads are clear. No, don't worry. Your son's just fine. He's sleeping peacefully. I'll call you and let you know I'm on, I'm on my way. Bye. So uh, if the roads are closed, what are you going to do with this food for the shelter? This food is for the men at the shelter tomorrow, Christmas Day. I will let them know that I will be arriving later tonight. What about you? Do you have a car that's good for snow? Me? I came from the state of Maine, so I've been growing up and it just lived with snow and winter driving for a long time. I am so thankful to have a good car for snow. What about you? Do you have four-wheel drive? Yes. Uh, I think our passengers are getting a little nervous with this delay. Then play some prison music and hand out the biscochitos. That is a great idea. Leah, could you turn on some Christmas music, please? Yes. Would you like some biscochitos? <laughs> Would you like some biscochitos? <laughs> um, is there any news about our flight? We're just waiting for the snow to slow down so the crew can clear the runway and de the plane. Hopefully it won't be much longer. My parents are going to kill me if I don't get home. What brought you to Santa Fe? Well, my friend's aunt and uncle gave her a ski trip for the three of us as a Christmas present. What a great trip for you. It was great, but I've never been on a trip without my family. And my parents only um, said I could go as long as I was back for Christmas. Well, I promise you that we will fly back to Denver as soon as it is safe to fly. Remember. On the very first Christmas, Mary and Joseph had a really tough, long, long trip, trip to Bethlehem. Now, I'm sure there were times when they thought they would not make it to Bethlehem. But they trusted God every step of their journey. That's the hope of Christmas even today. Now, call your parents and let them know what I said. You did a great job talking to that teenager. Where did you get that skill? Having my own children helps, and I've also had lots of helpful advice from other pilots. The pilots give you a lot of help and advice? Yes, you know, it's difficult to have a community when you're working on flight schedules. I have to find a support group similar to what I experience in the church community. Being a churchgoer just doesn't seem possible in our business. True, uh, but you know, almost every airport in the United States has a chapel. I'm part of a group of pilots, co-pilots, and flight attendants that run a schedule 
to meet at various airport chapels across the country to pray and support each other. I mean, you can't know what a difference that has made in my life. You should think about joining us sometime. I will think about it. Uh, finally, the, um, the snow has slowed down. Great news. The crew is clearing the runway and getting the plane. We should be ready to take off soon. All right. We'll alert you for manager to notify the passengers. Looks like the flight to Denver is going to depart soon. Yes. You can update the board. It looks like you should get ready to head out to the shelter and get this food delivered to them. DOT just delivered me that the roads are plowed and ready to go. Okay. Oh, and I made some extra food for you here. So red, green, or Christmas. Wow. Uh, first of all, this looks like a lot of food. I will probably not be able to eat all of this. And uh, I don't really know what you mean. Do you want red chili, green chili, or Christmas? Christmas means you want both. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll just give you a container of green chili and a container of red chili. Mix them if you want Christmas. Okay. Thank you. I have to go with the passengers. <laughs> okay, folks. The plane has been de-iced and the runway has been cleared. We should be boarding in about five to ten minutes. Excuse me. Didn't you come in on the flight from Denver? Are you waiting for someone? I did fly in from Denver, but I live here in Santa Fe, and I'm making an adoption placement with this little boy. Oh, are the parents coming here to the airport? No. I need to get the baby to their home, but I knew it wasn't safe to travel until the roads were clear, so I guess I'll call an Uber now. I'll be on my way. You should not call an Uber. You're never going to get one after all of this done tonight. If you're willing to wait until our flight de departs, I'd be happy to give you a ride. Would you? That would be so nice. Of course. I have a great car for snow, and it came from Maine, so I've been very experienced with the snow. Oh, well, I'll call the parents and let them know. Thank you. chapel get-togethers. Please send me the link. I think I'd like to give it a try. Yes, absolutely. I hope it needs it needs a meet for you. I'll be looking forward to seeing you at the Denver Airport Chapel in the near future. Merry Christmas. I'm about to get on the flight back to Denver. If it's okay, I think I'd like to join you for Christmas. And there's something I'd like to tell you about. I think I've found a way to get back to God. Now, you get that precious little one to his new parents, and here, every little miracle needs a baby blanket knitted with love and prayers. That is so kind. I'm sure the parents will love it. Thank you. Let's go, dear. We're finally headed to Denver to celebrate Christmas and prepare for our own family miracle. Yes, our own little milagro. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we're ready to begin our own journey. Oh, I almost forgot my New Mexican Christmas feast. This is more than enough food for me, so if maybe you'd be willing, you'd like to share it with me? That would be lovely. It's been a long evening and I'm starving. So, do you know about this red or green thing? Yes, and I always do Christmas. <laughs> and that is the story of my first Christmas Eve in Santa Fe, New Mexico. No one was ever expecting that much snow in such a short period of time. I have come to understand that the weather here in Santa Fe is quite unpredictable. Uh, during that extended time at the airport, some remarkable things happened. 
Isn't it amazing how God takes ordinary people to reveal his plans? God took a young teenage girl and a poor carpenter making a long journey to Bethlehem on the very first Christmas Eve to provide the world with Jesus, our Savior, our Messiah, because that is what God's plan was. God used some ordinary people at my first Christmas Eve in Santa Fe to put his plans into action. He comforted Bella, who was an anxious teenager, to return her to her family in Denver. He used Gustavo, an ordinary cook, to provide a Christmas meal for people at St. Elizabeth, Elizabeth's shelter. Scott, a pilot, to give a message of hope for a flight attendant to reconcile with her family and find a Christian community. A grandmother, Vera, and her husband, Estevan, providing a baby blanket knitted with love and prayers for an adopted baby boy, and a young couple like Mary and Joseph anxiously awaiting their infant son. We all had our hopes and plans at the airport. And for me, well, I established my career at the airport, and I found a Christian home at Christ Church Santa Fe, thanks to Gustavo. And that social worker, who you're probably wondering about now, who had the newborn baby making an adoption placement? Yeah. Jane was my Christmas miracle. His beard alone has experienced more than a lesser man's entire body. He can herd cattle with a nod of his head. He is the most interesting hombre in the world. I don't always drink root beer, but when I do, I prefer Zia. Stay <laughs> true, my friends. New Mexico too. <laughs> airport shuttle service closed until further notice. Here's another shuttle service, AAA shuttle service. Is this AAA airport shuttle? When is an airport shuttle ride the best ride? When it's also a joy ride, New Mexico style. Triple A Airport Shuttle is the only airport shuttle with service from Lamy to Santa Fe in style. Get out, get help her out. We're the AAA airport shuttle. Does he have his driver's license? Oh, he does. He got it yesterday. It should take 15 minutes. That will be on the highway. AAA Airport Shuttle Service picks you up wherever you are and gets you to the airport fast. There's a piece of luggage missing! No! Stop! Not responsible for anything, anytime, anywhere! <laughs> kind of licensed and certified by all sick New Mexico licensing company. <laughs> See those nuts? They put them there to make us thirsty. While I don't like being coerced, in this case, I'll make an exception. Stay through, my friends. New Mexico through. No. <laughs> Stay through, my friends. New Mexico through.
Beth, it was wonderful.